You know, in the motor trade, we uh, never cease to get amazed at what does pop up out of the woodwork every now and again. Just move back there because the sun's coming in through the door. But uh, every now and again, a little gem, something of real interest pops up. And this is really one of those cars. 2002 um, Peugeot 207, 206 should I say, sorry, Peugeot 206, um, Roland Garros 1.4. The car's had one owner from new, and it's only done 33,000 miles. And as you can see, it's absolutely lovely in pretty well everywhere. There's a few minor, minor blemishes on the car, which I will show you as we go around. But overall, as you look at it, front end of the car, everything on this car is absolutely lovely. Really must have been well looked after by whoever's, uh, whoever's had the car for all these years. And <clears throat> I don't think you can ever say it's probably going to be a classic as such, but I think it'll always be a car of interest, um, and particularly with the low mileage. We'll have a look inside first, and there you go, inside you get the, the, the brown leather interior that seems to be uh, the favour with all these Roland Garrosses with two-tone there with the, the dark green headlight, uh, headrest covers. Um, they, hopefully just see the mileage there, 33,400. Um, door trims, everything, all, you know, contrasting leather, but all in lovely condition. Even got the original floor mats, which aren't particularly worn, a little bit of a heel mark on the driver's one, but nothing, uh, nothing to speak of. And it's nice that all these things are still sort of with the car. Back seats, well, old motor trade thing have never been sat in. I would imagine they have, but they're, uh, they're certainly in very, very nice condition. Again, door trims, everything. No marks on the seat belts on the uh, the you know, openings or anything like that. Boot again, and it's complete with when you when you bought these cars, you've obviously got uh, because of tennis things. You've obviously got a Roland Garros towel, and uh, that is still there. In fact, in the bag, so uh, never been used. Uh, stacking CD player, um, bit of the cargo net, but again, everything in the boot really really nice. Um, spare wheel underneath the floor. So, original MSF stickers in there from the Peugeot dealers in Huddersfield where, he, uh, where it was supplied. So, you know, <laughs> there's not too much you can say really, is there? but it's, it's just a lovely, lovely little car. Um, see the logbook there? No former keepers other than the, uh, <clears throat> the last owner and uh, all the bills there for service. And it's not a full history at 30,000 miles there's about eight or nine service bills um a couple with Peugeot and then with the same independent garage in uh, in Huddersfield we've just MOT'd it um we've put a new suspension arm on it which you need it for its test but I've driven it around quite a bit this week actually and to be quite honest the car drives absolutely lovely has as well of course got the uh, the panoramic roof it's not an opening roof it's just a glass roof but again just adds a little bit of a uh, little bit of difference to the car I know they were very, very popular when they were new, um, but it makes somebody a great little run around that's, uh, you know, that's got an interest in cars. So, I did mention a couple of blemishes. One tiny one here on the front edge of the door that's just been caught and touched in, and strangely enough, a little dint at the back. We can't do anything with the dint, the dent man can't get to it, it's too close to the, uh, the fold of the door. And the car is so original that I don't want to paint it. it, it it's as simple as that. The, uh, the originality of the car is there and it's absolutely lovely. So any questions, anything else you would like to know, um, we'll put the still pictures of the service history on as well so you can have a look at that, the bills that we've got. Um, sorry the light in here is not brilliant this morning but, uh, but there we are. As I say, anything you want to know about the car please just pick up the phone, drop us an email. Um, only too happy to help and it's an interesting, just you know, something a little bit different um, for not a lot of money. Thanks for watching.